Everyone knows about Gore-Tex waterproofing and most people will have owned a Gore-Tex jacket at some point in their lives. But is it necessarily the best type of membrane out there? When you can blow right through something, you know it's going to have good breathability. That's the case with this jacket here by 66 degrees north. And the thing is, it's completely waterproof as well. And the secret is in its Polartec NeoShell fabric. I've been in the outdoor industry for a few years now, and this has been commonly regarded as the most breathable waterproof fabric out there. I'm a big fan of it. Here's a picture of me with ultra runner Owen Keefe wearing the Jotnar, I think it's called the Asmund Polartec Neo Shell jacket. If you look closely, you can see the sheep crap on my back. I've also been out in the Bracken Beacons testing out this 66 degrees north jacket. And the reason I really like Polartec Neo Shell is because of the balance that it strikes. It's as waterproof as it needs to be, but not so waterproof that any breathability is hampered. So anything with a hydrostatic head of, I think it's 1,500 millimeters, is waterproof. Now, this jacket with Polartec Neo Shell has a waterproof hydrostatic head of 10,000 millimeters. Compare that to something like Gore-Tex or the other leading um, membrane brands. They're up there in the 20,000s. Is that unnecessary then when it could be at the detriment to breathability? With breathability, which is often rated by something called MVTR, Poltec Neo Shell is up there at around about 30,000. Its rivals, on the other hand, are down in the 20,000s. And the reason for this breathability all starts with the fact that Poltec Neo Shell is 80% air. It's made up of a tangle of nanofibers, millions of them all jumbled up together. And there's spaces in between these that are big enough for air to pass through, but not big enough for water to pass through. Air traveling through from the outside, so wind for instance, it does have an effect, but the feeling of it is completely negligible. On the other hand, air traveling from the inside out, that does have a crucial effect. In my opinion, it does make a genuine difference as well. I found with Polartec Neo Shell, you don't get that urge to take your jacket off. You can wear it all day long. They also often pair the membrane with soft and stretchy fabric, so you don't get that rustly, horrible swishing noise when you're wearing a Polartec membrane jacket. This is probably a good opportunity to crack out my brand new microscope. 20 quid on Amazon. So here you can see the outer fabric woven nice and tight together. Let's have a look at the inner fabric then, shall we? And that there is the backer that they've stuck inside this jacket. And the purpose of that is to allow breathability, but to prevent, to prevent any of your body oils or your sweat from clogging up the pores of the membrane. It looks like. Wow. Run up a mountain in this and you are going to sweat a little bit. It's not a miracle material. No matter what waterproof membrane you're using, wrap yourself in something made of plastic and your body isn't gonna be able to breathe as freely as it would without it. Some people, they worry about the lifespan of Polartec Neo Shell. And what I'll say to that is, I've been using the Jotnar Asmin for five years now, and it's still completely waterproof, and I haven't had any issues with it whatsoever. Is Polartec Neo Shell the best out there at the moment? Well, there have been some developments in the outdoor industry recently, and a few new fabrics that might be able to rival it. So keep an eye out for one of our next episodes, where we'll put these all head to head. Thanks very much for watching. If you've got any questions about Polartec Neo Shell, stick them down below. I'll see what I can do. Catch you next week.